Inflation is cooling in the United States, rising just 0.1 percent. The Consumer Price Index shows prices 4 percent higher in May compared to a year ago, in line with estimates. Business reporter Alexis Christophorus is here with us now with more. So, uh, Alexis, break down some of these uh, key numbers for us. What does this tell you about how our economy is looking? Well, the Fed's 10 interest rate hikes since last March are filtering through the economy very slowly, but they're starting to make a dent in consumer prices. That's the good headline news here. So prices still on the rise, up 4 percent from a year ago, but that's about half where we were in June. Remember, we were talking about peak inflation at mm. over 9 percent. When we took a look in Inside this report, uh, a mixed situation. Energy prices down more than 3.5% in May. Gas prices, we know, have been on the decline, so that's been uh, good news. But shelter continues to be a huge contributor here in this report, up six tenths of a percent a month over month, and up 8% in just the past year. Food prices increasing two tenths of a percent as well. So the core inflation report, that's if you take out volatile food and energy costs, were actually uncomfortably high. And so that means that inflation. Inflation is becoming sticky in certain areas of the economy. Mm. And so, you know, consumers are still struggling. Now, tomorrow, the Federal Reserve is making another decision on interest rates. So what do you think that's going to be? You know, the Fed is, is in a quandary right now because inflation is moving in the right direction, but very, very slowly. And they they are probably going to pause. That's what most economists believe is going to happen uh, tomorrow's meeting. They're not going to do anything with interest rates as they wait to see uh, the effects of everything they've done thus far. That doesn't mean they're done raising interest rates. Most economists believe the Fed will hike rates again at some point in the summer or later in the fall. Because while inflation is 4% higher than it was a year ago, remember the Fed wants inflation at 2%. So we still have a ways to go. So what do these numbers do for recession fears? Well, it's hard to say we're on the brink of a recession when we have a job market as strong as it is, with the unemployment rate near a 50-year low of 3.7 percent. There are lots of mixed signals right now uh, with, with the economy. Uh, most economists believe that the, a recession is still many months off, and if we have one, it would be a mild one. The Fed still hopes it can achieve that soft landing, you know, raising interest rates just enough to bring prices down to a comfortable level, but not so much that we fall into a recession. One big caveat for the Fed, though, is all the banking turmoil, those three bank failures we had in the spring. A lot of banks are now tightening their, their lending standards, which means that businesses and consumers, they're finding it harder to get loans. That in and of itself is going to bring the economy down. If the Fed continues to raise interest rates coupled with that, we could see a recession in the months ahead. All right, Alexis Christophers, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.